Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Whisper of the Heart or Mimi wo Sumaseba. Uh, this is also another movie that I have no idea what it's about and uh, like uh, like from now onwards I think uh, I know none of the movies like because uh, I kind of knew about Spirited Away from the only through the name Spirited Away, Princess Mononoke, uh, Laputa, House Moving Castle like I only knew them like to its name like that was the only thing I knew about it but like the upcoming like movies uh, the Studio Ghibli movies that I'm going to react to I don't even know the name I'll have to like check the list uh, so yeah like no idea what this is about and uh, like uh, the title also doesn't give anything away so let's see what this is like uh, yeah looking forward to it so like uh, up until now studio Ghibli movies have not disappointed me it was like uh, like it was like amazing each and every movie is so good so yeah I'm guessing this will also be a, another one of those movies so yeah guys without further ado um, let's get started with whisper of the heart or Mimi Osumaseba movie reaction all right, uh, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Link it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. <laughs> okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Hmm. Okay, this is another old movie. I think it's written in 1995. Oh, Country Road. All right. Whisper of the Heart. Okay, wow, it's quite a start. Damn, that cat is like, but obviously cats are like that. They are like always sitting in that small place where you almost like fall down. <laughs> That's a cat. What? Okay, so this girl is a character, I think. Okay. 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 What is it? Amasawa Seiji. Oh, she went to the library. Okay.
Oh, so that Seiji person like also takes the books that she borrows. Okay, before okay before her. Uh, oh yeah, obviously before her because she's using it now. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, obviously, if you like are an avid reader and like read books from libraries, and you suddenly see that each and every book that you borrow has the same person who has like bought it before you, then obviously you're going to get like interested. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Damn. Yeah, that's quite low. Hmm. Okay. Uh Damn, the reflection of the like railings such like light reflecting off it. I'm quite scared of dogs. Like there was a dog in my like place like in the streets. He used to bite each and every person he like looked at and that kind of traumatized me in the childhood so i am really not good with dogs <laughs> like, i never got bit but still kishima <laughs> oh what damn Oh. What is this? Amasawa to collect. Oh. Okay, so that guy lended this to the school? Oh. Okay. Okay. They're making some kind of song or something? Oh, okay. 
This is the, like a Japanese version, I think. Okay. What? Ooh. Damn, she's a perfectionist. Concrete. <laughs> What? Oh my god! What the hell is this? Okay. Concrete. <laughs> oh my. Oh, great. Mm. Oh. 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 Oh, that's why she was like fussing about her freckles. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay. All. Oh. Um, your notebook. No, I don't think so. Especially anime, like, <laughs> anime male characters. Hmm. Well, the grass is greener on the other side every time. Oh, is her notebook? Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm guessing this. Guessing this is that Seiji guy. Like that's how anime usually goes. So. It's written, isn't it? Yeah, library card. <laughs> oh boy. We <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, the concreter is like cracking me up so much. I don't know why. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> okay, that was good. <laughs> oh. <Lord. laughs> Hmm. Okay. Stories bad I'm guessing. Hmm. 
Summon tens. Okay. <clears throat> Damn, her sister like does a lot of things like like household work as well, like going to a job. Coming back and cooking and everything, damn. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> run <laughs> quick, and she goes. Oh. All right. Yeah. Train is quite empty. I'm guessing it's not rush hour, so. Ooh, a cat. A cat in a train? Oh, it's the same cat that we saw. It's the same cat, isn't it? In the beginning, we saw like sitting on the railing. <laughs> She's like, what the hell? <laughs> Cat's like, Cat's like, huh? Why should I talk with a human? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, the cat is also going. Damn, the cat knows it's like where she wants to get off. <laughs> That's a smart cat. And the cat doesn't even near the ticket because it's a cat. Ah, there it is. Ooh. Okay, the signal.
Okay, that's pretty dangerous. Hmm. And cat is gone. What? Okay. Oh, this, there, she, or I don't know what gender it is. <laughs> okay, climb up of it, yeah. Oh, it's falling up. <laughs> she is extremely determined to see where the cat goes. Hmm, must be in some of the house, like either of the houses it got into. Hmm. This is a nice place. Oh. Ooh, damn. <laughs> wow, she's... Oh, what did... Oh, must be there. Yeah. <laughs> wow, the cat is like... <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> and he had his fun. Maybe that's pretty um Oh Okay this uh Ooh Damn Okay, this is a fancy house with a lot of Wow, there's a lot of things um <coughs> Store oh this is a store. Oh, yeah, okay, maybe yeah
Okay. That's a fancy cat. Hmm. Um. What? Okay. Okay, this is a store. Aaron. What? Ben Humbert von... Okay, be careful, yeah. Castle? Ooh. Ha <laughs> ha gnomes No, these are not gnomes, they're dwarfs. What the hell am I saying? Okay, that's a neat little yeah. Yeah, she lives a lot of stories, so. Faith. Oh, what the? Wow, that's an amazing clock. Oh, it's the king of the drawers. She's an elf? Oh. Oh yeah, she forgot what she had to do. I even forgot. Like she was <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Damn, she's fast. Okay, calm down. Um, oh, that guy, Seiji guy. Oh, he also have the, has the cat with him. Well, she knows that, like he knows that he goes to the library, so. She, he again peaked. <laughs> oh boy.
Oh, his dad works in a library? Okay. <laughs> Set. Okay. Yep. Um, I think that, uh, like he is probably Seiji because, like, who else would it be, other than him? I'm guessing, like, that's how it usually goes. So. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> One every day. Okay, that's pretty horrific. Okay. Yeah, it's mad. Dr. Amasawa. Oh. Koichi. Oh, that guy, I'm guessing, Seiji?
Okay. Yeah. That's easy. Um, what's happening here? Hmm. <laughs> oh my god. These guys might know. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Nah. Okay. Wait, they have lunch in the nurse's room? Okay. <clears throat> yep. Library. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's, she's going to that uh, shop again. Then on the way, she'll like visit the library. Oh, the Baron's not here? Hmm. World Emperor, Nishishiro Prop. Ooh. What happened? Oh, this is uh, like 
picture that we like you know those youtube videos uh, like which are like live 24 7 and like songs like japanese songs are like anime songs are playing Okay, something happened. Uh, what? Wait, what? What? Wait, so the friend told him to go and ask her to reply to the letter? Huh? Well, there's a test. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Nope, I doubt he understands. Well, you should probably go and ask. Um, what? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! Okay. Uh Okay, this is a complicated thing. Okay, I was not expecting that. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Well. Well, obviously she cannot like her friends like likes him. So. Oh well.
Okay. Oh, she has not changed even. Okay, well, still closed or what? Yeah. Oh, a new cat. Oh, no, the same cat. As always, the cat doesn't care. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Moon, that's... Okay, that's the boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> yeah. Half devil. <laughs> Half devil, okay. All right. Oh. Hmm. Okay, this is a pretty nice house, like especially the like location. Yeah, it's kind of like in a cliff and at the same time like yeah.
Hmm, a lot of violence. Oh yeah, that that clock was really amazing. Like, oh, it was. It have to be fixed. Three years. Okay, so okay, so something happened to the cat that when she was looking at it. Oh. Wow. Inkel Sema. Hmm. Okay, so at that time when she was looking at the Baron, kind of like, like smirked, I think, or what what happened, something like that. I thought maybe it was some kind of an illusion that when you look at the eyes, something like that happened. But it turns out it's not something like that. Hmm. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's making the like wooden. Oh, that's a violin. Oh, yeah, okay, that's a violin. Oh. Concrete road. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay. Which, which version do you want? Huh?
Okay, yeah, she is. Mm, but it's fine, like, I've heard a lot worse Tone Deaf songs. Damn, I wanted to hear the concrete roads. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, that was good. Yay. Mm. Mm, okay. Oh. Well, that's the reason why. Hmm, okay. Oh.
Hmm. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and it's raining. <laughs> Okay, that's awkward. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> As usual, students will be students. And here we go. Uh, okay. <laughs> and here we go. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. God damn. <laughs> Oof. Wait, so... Hmm, it's raining. On one condition. I... Wait, what? Oh.
Damn, that's fast. Oh my god, here we go. Oh my god, wow. Wait, what? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh. Well, it's a fancy room. Ten years, wow. No, actually not, but still.
Yeah, but it's complicated. Uh. <sighs> okay. I don't care. <laughs> this is an exam. I don't care. Ooh. Well, actually, he already do does. And there's the cat. What was the name? Uh, his name? Moon. Yeah. Muta. <laughs> Muta, Otama, Moon. Oh, Whisper of the Heart. Oh, that's the, like uh, the title she's giving her book. Oh. Hmm. Mm, yeah. Mm, a lot of professional professionals also make mistakes. Oh, what is that? A mineral? Mica slate. Hmm. Ooh. Barrel. Okay. Yeah, you need to polish it. Oh. <laughs> okay.
लापिस लाल ओ ओके um what okay planetoid converge <laughs> damn uh okay Oh wow that was a good transition like Ale <laughs> oh, Okay non fiction which is most probably like looking for like uh more ideas on how to like like you also need like even if you like a fictional story you also okay there he she's looking for the um lapis lazuli i'm guessing yeah information on it like this is the thing if even if you write like a non-fiction stories you also need to like take some uh, reference from uh uh if you like write fictional stories you also need to like take some reference from non-fictional stuff as well what what is this Oh, violin. Someone making a violin? In his cell. Hmm. Oh, is this Seiji? Yeah, I think so. Okay, first, so he's going to like leave for two months, then like come back, and then our again for like ten years after that. Hmm. Wow, there's like the cat 
cat people so let's go down because apprentice for fashion does oh so this is also another doll yeah what the hell is that Oh, she's writing. She's writing the story in, in the middle of class. Okay. Oh, she's thinking. Yeah, okay, she was not writing, she was thinking about what to write, yeah. You didn't get enough sleep, so... Oh my god. Okay. But, uh, like, obviously, obviously, like, writing the story and everything is all well and good, but. Oh, she's eating some protein bars. But, as I was saying, like, you need to also, like, look after your health. <clears throat> like, not getting enough sleep or not getting enough nutrition will be bad. Oh, the, the some kind of parent teacher meeting or did a teacher call Oh. Master thesis. <laughs> She's acting weird. Oh, uh, the school called her. Hundred places. <laughs> they were like they were thinking like ah she's studying most probably but actually she was writing her story oh that like uh, politeness of like japanese people Okay.
Well, she can just tell them like I'm writing a story. Yeah, this is what I was saying. Like, uh, writing stories, like all well and good, like doing what you want, but like at least like you should keep an eye on like everything else as well. Like, don't get so like into it that everything else gets uh like affected. Mm, no, I don't think. Three weeks. So she's like planning to like complete it uh, when like Seiji comes back by the time. I don't get it. Like. <laughs> Like she can just say that yeah I'm writing a story so like well yeah like three weeks Yeah, that was what I was saying. Like, do everything, uh, like, at the same time, do what you want as well. So, without, like, making sure that, like, nothing else gets affected. Well, this is the same thing that she is like going through, like the paths in her life. Like she herself doesn't know which way to like choose, which like path to choose, but she has to like run. Like time, there's no time. And the confusion is there as well. Ooh. What the? What was that in the end? Hmm. And yeah, writing story takes quite a while, so like I'm guessing that's the reason why like she's like skipping food, skipping her like sleep, just so that like she can complete it by the time like Sadie comes back. And even after completing it, like everything's not okay, like you have to like 
uh, check it that if there's some kind of mistakes or not there's like do some finishing touches and everything like she'll also like let the old man read it and after like reading it he'll also give his own impressions and everything oh he's dreaming I'm guessing his wife Luisa Oh Oh, he finished. Wait, how many days has it has passed since then? I'm guessing uh, Seiji is not here. Like he's most probably whisper of the heart. Or oh no, wait a minute, is Seiji still here? Like why is he like? Hurting so much. Oh, I'm I'm guessing Seiji is still here. So he she completed it in one day or what? Just a sec, let me just. Like she's hurting like extremely. Wait a minute. Oh, she, okay. Sage is not here. Okay. I was thinking, like, why is he, she hurrying? Like, then I thought maybe Sage is still here. Like, she, like she completed the story in one or two days, but that's impossible. Like, how can you complete a story in one or two days? So, okay. Oh, the cat's also here. Oh, that's why she was so like concerned. Now I have to polish it. <clears throat> mm. Well, cat did its job, kept company. Yeah, exactly.
Jumbo. Coffee shop. Germany. Oh. Wait. She read red wrote the same story. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. War started and can give her promise. Mm, damn. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> the trials are over. For now. <laughs> oh, she went to sleep? Mm. 
<sighs> Damn, it's cold. Oh, it's in the morning, so. Okay, so it is back. Okay, so two two months have already passed. So yeah, she took quite a like quite some time to like write the story. Okay, and this will be okay. Okay, the goat. Oh, damn. Ooh. And sun sunrise. Excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, like that is needed. Like you cannot become like a author just like that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, well. Wait, that's the end? Okay, oh. All right, so that was this. Uh, this was the movie. Uh, oh, the oh, no, it's a different thing. Cat uh, or a dog. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, um, this movie is a lot uh, more like like as I said before, uh, Ghibli movies have a theme. Like each and every movie have a theme to it. Like and which kind of like 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 shows us something which often happens in reality uh, this movie was uh, as far as I could understand this movie was more about uh, like the problems the like uh, things that we think whenever like there is the thing about like becoming an adult like which path will I take what will I do what's for my future and like there's always this thing like which it is like movie showed us pretty clearly which is that if you have a friend or someone else who is at the same like uh, like same uh, like who's walking the same road with you and if that person suddenly like figures out what to do in his or her life and starts going on his or her own path like you as a person kind of become like I don't know a bit uh, like scared as to like yeah he or she found what she, like like what they wanted to do but I, and you always think that yeah but I am right like walking the same road and I have still not found like the destination where I'm supposed to go so like you suddenly feel alone in your like in the road that you are walking and this is kind of the same thing that happens and you kind of like start to like fear and like start to like um hurry in your the whatever you're doing and thinking that oh no he will like leave me alone like he will like surpass me and like go in a place where i won't be able to catch him or her up with her with her or him so yeah um just a sec this is the this is the girl isn't she the girl who Oh, and that's a boy, I'm guessing. Okay, well, I'm guessing everything is working well for them. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, um, so you always have this fear that yeah, he or she is going like so fast that I won't be able to catch up. So you suddenly start to hurry and like start to like fear like what will happen if you were like left alone in this road. And that was basically what this like movie showed us and kind of like like what happened in this movie like the girl um, Tsukishima she was in the same position and the person who was kind of okay that's the end kind of walking the same road with her was uh, Seiji uh, who she liked and uh, that and that's also the reason why it is more like um, difficult for her like uh, like we also have this kind of things uh, like this kind of like face similar situations but like uh, pe people who are facing similar situation with his or her friend, for example, it's a lot more um, better in a sense because because he or she is just your friend. But in this like movie, it was more um, like scary for Tsukishima because uh, the person who was walking with uh, the, on the same road with her was Seiji, who she liked, and she didn't even know if Seiji also like returned her feelings. Like all of these these things in in a mixture kind of made her more scared, more uh, like like that's the reason why she was hurrying so much, and she didn't even like uh, eat or like properly uh, didn't even have had sleep properly, 
and was really um, hurrying. So in the end, when she kind of understood that, yeah, the way I'm going, like doing it is not a proper way. I should probably like finish my studies and uh, like graduate. Then I should like start running on, like start following my own path. So yeah, and, and after also like Seiji came and like confessed, that was also a kind of uh, like relief that she got like thought that yeah like my like the feelings that she had was requited and that also I'm sure like gave her a peace of mind later on and <coughs> like uh, like like this girl and Seiji are like I think in, in school like it's just it's extremely like fast for them and especially like thinking about their future uh, what they're going to do what like uh, there are a lot of people who like even after like graduating and everything kind of um are unable to like find or what they should like what they should do or which path should they should walk and that's that's okay like uh like for some people it comes quicker for some people it takes a little bit of time but eventually it all comes and eventually uh everything is kind of becomes okay so like it works out somehow so yeah and so I think the thing you should probably do is like just do what you're supposed to do in your age and uh, like like do like when it is time you will like automatically get to know and you'll automatically like realize that yeah uh, like I should probably walk start working on this path so if you're like a student and everything just like keep on studying do like what each and every student is supposed to do study play and hang out with friends that's it and after you like uh, like pass out from school graduate uh, the time will come when you automatically will have to think that yeah I should probably like take this road I should probably work on this path so uh, like like instead of like worrying all about all of these things from your like school days because you should probably like keep it for <laughs> like later on because obviously school days is just uh, a, like a phase which you would probably never get back in your life ever like school days comes once in in a lifetime and you should probably not like waste it like that because uh, after like uh, you like after you become older you will realize that ah uh, like like I, I I was so happy in my school days and uh, like you will probably regret if you never did anything that you were supposed to do in your school life for example like like studying playing hanging out with friends and like having a good time because like <laughs> like there's always this thing like th this happens to everyone like children kind of think like uh, like cannot just wait to, to like grow up and grown up cannot like always like laments of the time that they uh, had when they were was a child and always like wants to go back to a child again like as i said the grass is always green on the other side so it's the same thing like even when i was like uh, when i was in school and everything i also thought that ha ah, when we like grow like into an adult that like no one will able to like like tell me what to do i will do whatever the hell i want it will be such an ama amazing like time and I still remember like uh, sitting uh, in my school like classroom and talking about the same thing with my friends and my friends also like thought kind of like that as well like we were all so like uh, ready to grow up and we were so all like uh, impatient to grow up and now that we have grown up we're lamenting of the time that we had when we were a, ch when we were a child when we were like uh, running around in the fields of our school playing around uh, soccer and all of the things like when we like hanged out with our friends <sighs> damn okay so yeah this kind of like reminded me of that really and also like uh, the phase of like life when you start worrying about everyone like surpassing you everyone like walking too ahead of you and you always think that am I going to be left behind like this will all my friends like un like uh, get to realize that what they are supposed to do and am I will I be the only one who is left 
hanging around uh, doing like not even realizing what am I supposed to do like yeah it's the same thing I'm probably going through that phase I don't know so like everyone is like uh, like in like at least in my age group I think most of the people kind of like goes through this phase at least one time people who do not go through this phase are extremely like fortunate because obviously they always like they have a goal set in mind and they like walk towards that goal so yeah yeah and also like uh, there are a lot of downsides of that as well because uh, like uh, for example for people who always like has a goal set out like they are extremely like passionate about that if somehow like god forbids if something happens and he or she is unable to pursue that goal that really like uh, messes with him or her and that will probably like be ex extremely a like, big blow to uh, that person and like people kind of go into depression and stuff like that but for people who usually do not have any kind of goal and like who are like su suffering from like not knowing what to do how to like uh like advance uh, they would probably not like uh experience something like that because obviously they do not have any goal and they don't are not have don't have some kind of a uh, passion to like do only this like uh, like uh, the people who are passionate about only one thing so they are probably not going to get uh, like uh, like experience a situation like that. Uh, in, in that sense, it's kind of like better for them uh, in, in a situation. But for people who are extremely passionate about something, from like for example, a child who like thought that yeah, I will become this, like I'll become a doctor or I'll become something else, and uh, who always like uh, studied from the get go for that and like had a, like his or her focus on that goal if somehow he or she is unable to like fulfill that uh, it will really like, uh, like be a big blow for him or her so yeah anyways uh, I'm going off on a tangent anyways this movie uh, this was uh, whisper of the heart and uh, as I said before uh, this movie kind of like showed us that part of the like our life our youth which it is and uh, yeah that was an enjoyable movie and uh, it was um, extremely realistic and like something that a lot of people sh would probably um, like can relate to and like that's what I liked about this movie I thought maybe this was going to be some kind of a magical movie like when the Baron was like kind of um, like it felt as if the Baron like was moving or something like its face kind of moved I thought maybe like it's some kind of a magical movie it will it's going to turn into but uh, it was not something like that this was a completely like normal uh, people living in a normal world type of movie and I think uh, it was better that way and it's kind of like a little bit of magical potion came in but that was just like her writing the story of the Baron and uh, her betrothed uh, what was the name that uh, the other like uh, like doll and them like flying around uh, in the midst of the clouds and like floating islands and stuff like that was just her writing the story that was nothing magical that was the magical thing was in the book that she wrote so yeah and what else Yeah, and that's it. That was the movie. Uh, nothing much to say. This was just like uh, showing us the struggles of a teenager. Uh, a teenager? Yeah, a teenager. She can be called a teenager, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that was basically it. The struggles of a teenager. And I think like she is experiencing all of this stuff a bit too early because usually uh, like uh, people uh, like children in her age group usually, usually does not like go through stuff like this like uh, like this phase comes a little bit bit more later uh, usually when like people graduate uh, they're like barely, they're, they're not even in high school I think they're in middle school so yeah that's quite like early <laughs> like she and like like she because of her in like uh, interaction with Seiji Seiji who like already had a goal set out for him uh, like that kind of made her mature a lot like quicker and like think about her future a lot quicker and I'm guessing like 
uh, the same face will also like come to the other people like other friends that she has a lot later for example that girl and the boy i'm guessing the boy is probably like going to do some kind of uh, baseball thing like uh, her career, his career would be probably somehow related to that i don't know just guessing and um yeah and they'll probably like also uh, face the same situation that she faced uh, later in their life like they're barely in middle school so yeah so <laughs> yep and um one thing that is unfortunate is that sage will have to like i think the, what did you say like 10 years like he'll have to like uh, be outside japan for like 10 years so I think that's also the reason why like he like went like, completely to marriage without, without even like uh, dating and everything like he skipped a lot of steps because of that because he knew that um, like dating is an extremely flimsy word like especially if you are like going to be without contact for quite a long time like this is 10 years you're talking about so like it's going to be an like a long distance like relationship for like so many years so if you said something like dating or be my girlfriend or something like that it would not show the like what can you say like um like this uh like it will it, I, I don't think that's a, like uh, something that she he wanted that's the reason why he suddenly said well like, will you marry me or something like that because obviously he knew that um 10 years will be a long like t amount of time like if he was outside for one or two years I think I I'm sure like he would probably wouldn't have said like marry me or something like that he won't say something like that he would probably like say like wait for me or something like uh, just uh, like like be my girlfriend or something like that let's start dating or something and then like uh, after like two or three years uh, when he would have come back then he would like properly like go through all the steps uh, like date for one or two more years and then like proposed marriage or something but obviously like uh, he does not have like a chance like that like he doesn't even know whether he would be able to come back in the middle of it so like uh, like it's quite a long distance so that's the reason why i think he said that like uh, like will you marry me or something like something like that and she also like accepted so the, like this shows like the like amount of like seriousness that she like he has and uh, like uh, what he actually wants this shows so i'm uh, like i think like that was like appropriate at least for this like uh, scenario so yeah <clears throat> all right so yeah that was this uh, like that was this movie uh as, as i said like this was also extremely good and i liked it uh, because of his obviously like the uh, realistic thing that this movie showed the struggles of youth <laughs> as i like to call it and um yeah like if someone is struggling with their youth like just like do whatever what you are supposed to do in your like like inner time don't think too much about the future just do it and when the time comes you yourself will realize that yeah i should probably start thinking about my future and just like go with it because the time you're going to like lose uh, in your uh, like childhood in your youth you won't be able to get that back so it's better to like spend it uh, as like everyone usually does so that you do not regret later on that yeah like i should have made some friends i should have like had some fun with my friends stuff like this because later on you won't even get the time to do that so yeah because all of the responsibilities will come and like crash on your head on your shoulders family uh, marriage uh, like if you have children your children your office your boss like uh, human relationships social interaction with other people like you will even get the time to like uh, spend for yourself for uh, with your like friends as you used to do in the in your childhood in your like school days so it's better to like uh, spend your school days as you're supposed to do and not think about a complicated stuff when you're a child just be a child that's the best thing in my opinion to do so yeah um so yeah guys uh thank you guys for watching this was um whisper of the heart 
and okay uh, the next movie that I'm going to do is I think uh, this is a spin-off of the same movie like the whisper of the heart also has I think another spin-off which is called uh, Neko no One Ongaishi or the cat returns um, so like like I think in, in like in my animalist I can see that this also has is not as high rated as like uh, Whisper of Heart but it's still quite highly rated 7.8 so um, I think this is uh, something related to uh, this movie which is Whisper of the Heart so uh, it's like appropriate to do this uh, like uh, in the next week uh, uh, so I'll probably do this uh, the cat returns and I, I also like I, and I plan to like do each and every Ghibli movie not each and every Ghibli movie but the ones that are like high, highly rated especially like up like uh, 7 plus rating those that I have and so yeah just uh, like all of those good movies I'll do each and every one of them so no worries and it's going to take quite a while like I'm doing like one movie in uh, a week so it'll probably take two or three more months I'm guessing to complete each and every Ghibli movie that is like good so yeah and then after that I'll like uh, like continue with the other movies like uh, I also have a plan to do uh, you know that movie uh, what was the name of the movie Akira I think like I, I've heard a lot of that uh, movie um, like it's also another one of the best movies like it is a high rating and a lot of people have like uh, like almost every like all anime fans have watched it but I have not watched it so I also like after like the Ghibli movie sent I also like plan to do th this as well uh, Akira because I've heard a lot of good things about this as well so yeah and all of the other movies that are like usually coming out and everything so yeah so the movie uh, weekend will continue for quite a long while because I have a lot of movie to like do and like because I like barely watch any kind of movie like anime movies are a rarity for me to watch like the amount of animes that I've watched like the anime movies don't, like don't even come close like I've only watched the like most popular anime movies and the like uh, anime movies which are somehow related to the popular like uh, stories like uh, uh, like of, uh, you know those like My Hero Academia movies all of those uh, I've like watched and the popular movies that is like uh, Tenki no Ko um, Kimi no Nawa, uh, with, uh, like, uh, and, and the other, like, uh, what was that? Um, what was the name? I forgot. What the hell? Uh, uh, that movie uh, where, like, there was this, like, uh, uh, the girl who cannot talk. Uh, what was the name? What the hell? I forgot the name. Uh, oh, God, I forgot the name. Which, uh, no, uh, Koino Katachi, okay, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> Koino Takatachi, yeah, those are, I've, I've watched all of those, so I won't do those, obviously, but the others that I've not watched, so I'll do all of them, so one by one, so yeah, so okay, so uh, as I said, again, like the next uh, week, I'll do Neko no Ongaishi, uh, or like uh, The Cat Returns, I'm guessing, the translation is not okay, because Ongaishi means like, uh, like to repay something, so... Cat returns. What the hell is this? Okay, I'll call it Neko no Ongaishi. So I'm guessing it is it is somehow related to that cat that we saw in this movie. Movie. So yeah. So okay, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. So if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Comment down below anything you want to say about this movie. Anything you want to say in general, I'll be sure to check them out. So so yeah, guys. Uh, I'll be back uh, the next week with another Ghibli movie. Uh, so see you guys then so until then goodbye and have a nice day